<laughs> Misty guy. <laughs> Comedy X Machina. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome with that. Uh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It is 2023. Merry Christmas. And we are on episode number Ocho. The Ocho. Amazing. ESPN 8. Wait, wait, wait. What does that mean? In, is that is that a rare uh, language? Ocho? Is that... Is that a new one? There was a guy I used to know who said, don't speak Spanish. That's the slave language. I was like, God whoa, damn. Holy who said, whoa. Shit. I was just going exotic here, okay? Yeah, I don't te- know who said that. Technically shit. speaking, he's not inaccurate, but still, you know. <laughs> the Spanish did, you know, come over and. Yeah, but so did the Portuguese, the Dutch, the British. Oh. Uh, that was just a funny way of him getting out of not having to speak Spanish, being a Mexican guy. Oh, that sucks. There's way easier ways. It's called just speak English. <laughs> <laughs> So, anyways, so this is our inaugural 2023 episode. Um, if you're new to the show, basic rules still are the same. We don't talk about work. We don't talk about religion unless it's within the context of film, and we don't talk about politics again unless it's within the context of the film. Uh, we try not to interject our own feelings because why should you give a fuck about our feelings when it comes to those things? We're here to talk about fucking movies, right? Um, we're not really fucking the movies, but well, it depends the movie. You mean like love circa 2015? Well, Gaspar Noé? Or her? <gasps> yeah. Well, you mean fucking a machine. Yeah, I'm I'm all for it. I'd fuck the, the machine from Metropolis. That sounds like a... Then I could. That sounds like a sex ex machina. <laughs> sex machina. <laughs> a sex ex machina. I guarantee you that movie exists somewhere out there. <clears throat> yeah. I'm, um, sure. I'm Adam Flores. Michael Frias. Joe Frizz. <laughs> you, you go all weird and then he's just hot and even cold. kilter. Yeah. Cold and hot. What, one of these days we're going to have to get my brother on the show and we'll just do the, the bros podcast. Yeah. Oh. Tight. Tight. That'll yeah. be fucking interesting. Tight, 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 yeah. tight. <laughs> so <clears throat> I was speaking to these gentlemen about this and we had, well, I have a New Year's tradition that I've, I've kind of been doing since even last year, but I wanted to keep it going. I fell off towards the end of the year due to family obligations and bullshit like that. Um, but every Monday, because I'm off on Mondays, I'm doing new movie Monday where it's not a brand new movie per se, but a new movie that I've never seen before. Never seen, if I can help it, never seen clips of before going into it brand new and fresh. Uh, my brother and I had a whole conversation. <sighs> We're very different people, my brother and I. Not unlike you guys. Although you guys laugh with each other and have a good time. My brother and I, although we're we're very, very good friends, my brother and I are polar opposites in regards to our personality. Well, that's, that's, kind, of a, that's kind of a cool thing because, yeah. uh, I mean, the, the, the opposite perspectives are always... Yeah. It's, yeah, always, yep. it's always a great conversation. Yeah, you know, like, I mean, we end up getting into more arguments. Nothing like serious. More right, like, right, more right, like right. the Hulk's a better superhero than Spider-Man. You know, that's, how, that's right, what we get yeah. into. Um, that's a weird one. So we challenged one another this week. He's like, I'll watch a movie of your choice. You watch a movie of my choice. So the movie I told him to watch was Nope by Jordan Peele. Okay. I still want to see that. <clears throat> Which, uh, he did watch. If you want, I'll, I'll let you borrow it. Okay. Okay. Um, this is Nope. Don't click on too many pictures because the reveal of this movie is what makes it good. Um, but yeah, the poster's good. Uh, yeah, that's nope. Hmm. I, well, I, I, I Steven re- Yeun. Yeah, I the, really, really yeah. Lo- like that movie from yeah from The Walking Dead. Yeah, and from Invincible. Yeah. Um, Damn. Check that shit out if you haven't. It. It's this is going to be a very divisive movie. People are going to be all over this, or they're going to absolutely fucking hate it. Is it's that why? Is that is that because the movie swings the audience in a bunch of different directions that they can never possibly predict well so this movie doesn't fit into a box okay because like you know it's it's a horror movie right yep but is it really you know like you watch it it's not a scary movie there's nothing in it that's going to be like "Ah," but it's not it's not like watching signs for the first time okay is it a horror movie technically yes but it's also sci-fi it's also weird it's also yeah it's really up for interpretation right depending on like I, I guess what headspace you're in when you watch it, because I was high when they hit me. Yeah, 
<laughs> after we saw it, we we were talking about it. Like, yeah, it it has sci fi elements. Um, the horror is there, but I thought it was more suspenseful. You're right. <clears throat> but yeah, again, that was just like my take. Other okay. people like like ah, you know. So yeah, so, I mean, oh, my brother in law hated it. Oh, he was like, nah, I oh. didn't really care for this fucking movie. I was yeah. like, I walked out of him like, oh my god. I like the symbolism with this. I like this. I like this. So okay, it's just a different, you know, very different. Um, where is it? Is it? Where is it streaming? It is not, but I I bought it. Okay. Um, okay. On Vudu. Oh yeah. So okay. So yeah, you can check that out. Um. So okay. So besides this, uh, this is the movie I told him to watch. He actually did like the movie. My brother actually really liked it. Uh, much to my surprise, I thought he was gonna be like, "Are you fucking kidding me with this fucking movie?" But he was—he was like, "He was like, no, I, I like the, I like the um, the parallels between one part of the movie and another part of the movie." Um, and when I likened it to, I likened it to Jaws. To me, it's it's like it's Sky Jaws. Oh, ooh, Sky! Damn, right. That's- what? Yeah, and, and w- once you watch it, you'll see a lot of the parallels between Jaws and this. That hit. okay, uh, we could talk a little bit more about it. You know, after you see it, I don't want to spoil yeah, it. And, yeah, and it's still too new of a movie. Okay, the movie he told me to watch is a movie called Barbarian. <laughs> Barbarian. Yep, that first one. Now, <clears throat> be advised, I am probably going to spoil the shit out of this movie right now, oh, and I don't care. Man. Oh. Well, well okay. no, I I saw the beginning of this movie and fell asleep, not because it was boring or anything, but I was just like dirt tired. And from what I saw, it was pretty badass. Oh, it's, man, dude, you've got to see it the, so, the whole so way you, through. Did, was I the one that told you to watch it? Yes. <laughs> yes. That's why That's why I texted you immediately. And I yay? Will, I, yay? Yeah. Yeah. Yay? Yeah. yeah. Right. Definitely. Definitely see that. So th- this movie is one of those like, is it a good movie? No. It is not a good movie to me. Does that make it any less entertaining? Absolutely not. It is absolutely entertaining. It you you got to see yeah, it. Yeah, it's 100% first. an entertaining movie. <laughs> so much so that my, my, wife, my wife would never watch this. Never in a million years. Damn. But when I finished the movie, I came up and I'm like, I got to tell you about this fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, all right, what happened? And... Because of the momentum of the movie and like one thing leads to another. Yeah. I was explaining everything. Before you knew it, I I legitimately acted out the entire fucking movie for her. She's like, and like she she's in bed. She's like, oh my God. Oh my God. So it, she got the whole experience with me acting it out like it was some kind of one man show. Oh, so she did watch it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Through my eyes, apparently. Oh, um, okay. But yeah, that was one of those like, like I finished and I'm like, I texted my brother. I'm like, what the fuck? Are you doing having me watch this movie? <laughs> He's like, it was fucking awesome. Wasn't it suspenseful as shit? I'm like, it did. It did have some. I texted you the same damn thing. I was like, <laughs> WTF, <laughs> bro, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. The, the, the beginning part is very um, stereotypical of a horror movie. Yes. So probably like everything that you had seen up until yep. that point. Right up until. You got to watch this. You would okay. you would love this. I'll watch it if you act it out for me afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how it happened. What you saw. So so the beginning sequence is this girl um, goes to an Airbnb <clears throat> on a rainy night. Yeah, my voice cracked like I'm 13 years old. <laughs> uh, she goes to an Airbnb on a rainy night in Detroit. You know all the things that you don't want to do in a row. Get an Airbnb. Be in Detroit, period. Hey, and especially in the rain. <laughs> Detroit's a nice place. It isn't. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> shout okay. out to Det- shout out to Detroit if yeah. you guys are fans. Um, <laughs> don't go to Chicago. <laughs> yeah, not much yeah, better. Yeah, yeah <laughs> we're we're Chicagoans. Apples and oranges. Um, so she goes and she goes for the key and it's not there she knocks and finally somebody answers and it's bill skarsgård is bill bill skarsgård bill, bill skarsgård um hey real quick fact about bill skarsgård go ahead do you know he was in a movie and he showed his dick i'm just saying i don't know what rev- relevance that has to this but he showed it 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 
he showed us Pennywise. <laughs> Nor- Norman quit. <laughs> With a red balloon tied yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, he didn't show his balloon knot. <laughs> The bat wing wasn't present, but Oof, everything else was. <laughs> so, uh, so he answered. He answers the door, and it turns out that he also ordered uh, to rent the house for the the same amount of time. They were double booked, right, from a different app. So, yeah. so you're you're watching the movie, and you can't help but feel like a certain demographic that we can't dis- disclose of that acts in a certain way. In a particular movie, we don't want to be racist in any way. But there's a certain... Or set off the appearance of racism. Right. There's a certain group of people that have a penchant for yelling at a screen like, what the fuck are you doing? You know, like, like, I found myself being that guy. (laughs) This girl's going into the house with Bill Skarsgård, who, I don't know if it's because of playing Pennywise, but certainly since playing Pennywise, just conveys this creepy demeanor. Yes. Yes. And it, it, dude, he was the perfect dude for the role. Oh, his absolutely. brother, his brother would not have been good oh, for no, that role no. at all. No, his his brother is too pretty for that. Yes, yeah. Um, but but Bill was perfect. He, oh Jesus, those eyes. Oh, but isn't it funny though? He makes up for it. Yeah, he's, he's, following he's a tremendous actor. He is. He's absolutely good. Like it's great. Like mo- most of the stuff that he did as Pennywise, I absolutely loved it. Yeah, even. This remake of it, <clears throat> I don't want to say surpasses the original source material, but it's just, it's very different. One's a movie, one's, it was a miniseries, right? Yeah. So to yeah. me, it was, it's hard to compare one or the other, but I think he did, he did a fucking phenomenal job. Easily the best part of, of the entire s- series was Bill Skarsgård. Yeah. So. I mean, the Skarsgård. Yeah, he, he made that movie. Yeah. yeah. I think. The Scars Guards in, in general, they're all pretty accomplished actors. So, yep. Are there any women in that family? Not sure. That they're actors? Not sure. Can you check that out? Scars Guard? S K A A R S? No, it's just one A. Sorry. Does he have any sisters? He's 6'4. Christ almighty. Who, Bill? Right, right there. Asia Scars Guard, right there. Can you click on her? You know, you know, Bill Skarsgård right kind of looks like. Uh, is she an actress? Jesus Christ! What's up? Wait, how old is she first? What? Can oh. we find out her age first? <laughs> Just outed. <laughs> right. I don't, last thing I want is to get in fucking trouble. IMDb. Thirty years. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she's hot. <laughs> <laughs> we got to be real clear on this shit nowadays. Can you scroll back up, please? All the way up. All the way up. Okay, so that's the she's the only female one. Walter. Okay, well, yeah, she's gorgeous. Can you go to her? Eye? Yeah, thank you. Can you go to that? I want to see if she's actually been in more. Oh, she's. What are her credits? She has two credits, so that's just those two things. Yeah. Okay, so she's a newer actress, but I just I just was curious as to whether or not there was a female in the family because I mean the dad is. An amazing actor as well. Oh yeah, just watched uh, Good Will Good Hunting, Hunting yeah. the other day. I was just watching Thor: The Dark World. Fuck! I thought he was an older brother. Damn! Whoops! That's a, <laughs> I swear to God, I fucking swear to God. Holy shit! No, that's Daddy O. Yeah, Daddy Skarsgård. And that's one of those things, like in terms of like Hollywood nepotism, right? Like to me, he he's put out a good product. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like Colin Hanks. Like, Colin Hanks is a great actor. I haven't seen him in. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. I mean, he was, like, in Band of Brothers. He was in Orange County. But uh, he was in Band of Brothers? Yeah. Yeah, I think he, I missed that. He yeah, like, yeah, I totally he, missed that. He's, like, that. in one or two episodes of Band of Brothers. Okay. He's, the, he's the, uh, the, the lieutenant that never saw action prior. No. Yeah, that's Colin Hanks. Yeah. Uh. I know. I think I know. And even what, even if you don't like him in the role, it to me it proves that he did a good job because you're not supposed to like this guy. Oh yeah, yeah. You know? Whenever, whenever an actor, whenever a character is totally not likable, yeah, they're doing be- a good job. It's because the actor is doing a great, yeah, great right. freaking job. Oh, yep. we gotta, we gotta do a, 
a whole show on that. I'd be just great at the it. People that you hated the most in movies. Yep. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Fucking Matt Damon, man. Fucking the Departed. He was a fire. Yeah. Fucking hated. Fucking that piece up of shit, man. How about up? Oh, uh, up him. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I don't think he's ever been in any other movie. He's, he was so good. He's terrible. He was in Twister. <laughs> He was the twister. No, <laughs> <laughs> just fucking shit up. He was he was Helen Hunt's twister. <laughs> he was, <yeah. laughs> That's what they call. They're going to make days. a sequel of that. You know that? Oh god! Is Helen Hunt going to be in it? Bill Paxton can't. <laughs> that's that's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Too tsunami for a twister. Uh, All right. So anyway, so barbarian came over, man. Came <laughs> over, man. <laughs> So Barbarian, they uh, they double booked uh, the house, and he's like, "Listen, just come inside, you know, we'll we'll relax, and you know, you." And he's being a real gentleman about stuff. He was, yeah. But his just his performance, his appearance, just comes off creepy. So you're you're expecting something to happen mm-hmm. the entire time. You're just like, no, something's off with this fucking guy. And that's and that's what that's what we should. I should probably just leave it there. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna leave it there. There's you, you guys got to check it. it. It it makes a right turn and then a left turn and then a right turn and then a left turn and then everything just becomes fucking convoluted and weird. And this movie is not at all what you expect it to be. However, I, is, is it bad to say that uh, everything gets answered in the end? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. So you, you're well, gonna the, get yeah. you're gonna get your answers. It's not gonna be like a Christopher Nolan. Uh, what do you think? Yeah. yeah. It's going to be pretty clear cut. Man, so. I really got to check this out. Yeah. So just. Justin Long is married to Kate Bosworth, right? What? Am I losing my fucking Who's? Mind? Justin Long? Is no, he... I think he's married to. Um... Sorry, Norma. Uh, <laughs> well, what, what's what's her name? That Georgina um, Campbell is pretty. From Mean Girls. Yes. Mm-mm. Uh-huh. You know, real quick about Georgina Campbell, she was in uh, a lot of episodes of Black Mirror, that Netflix series mm. about technological possibilities and complications. As of twenty January twenty twenty two, Long is in a relationship oh, with Kate Bosworth. Damn, damn, bro. yeah, uh, Amanda Seyfried. I thought, I thought he yeah, was yeah, married yeah. to her, but yeah, I don't think she makes an appearance though. The whole movie is only like four people in it. It might be like her voice. Like all these people are in it, but there's like five fucking pe- like faces that you see in the entire movie, right. right? Yeah, yeah. It almost feels like a play. Like like you can tell. I mean, it's a very independent film. Yeah, which which I like about it because you could just tell it's like, listen, we're not going to have the budget for everything. I'm sure you're going to want out of a, out of a horror movie. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna note something about that movie. Uh, a majority of the movie was filmed on location in Sofia, Bulgaria. Interesting. Nazdrave. Damn. Truth. I like Justin Long, by the way, as well. Uh, Justin yeah. Long was outstanding in this movie. Okay. Yes. He's yeah. And he, I'm not I'm not gonna tell you why. Yeah. And, and I'm not gonna to, tell you why. You also want to talk about somebody that you hate in this like oh, in, don't say it. No, I'm I mean he, he comes off he, he, He's a he's a good guy. Yeah, he's he's, he's a good act, guy. He's an actor. Yeah. He's an actor. No, he's an actor in the movie. And he, no, yeah. his his character is an actor in, in Hollywood. Well, I, I saw the no. introduction to his character. Okay. Right. And and I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but it wasn't because it was it was boring. It was just like it I know it's, it's it so typical, happened that way. It's it's the typical Hollywood cinema. Yeah. Always wins when the movie's about somebody in Hollywood. Yeah. But right, he, right. he he really played that off pretty good. And it was an understandable like yes. situation that he was in that was like what? Another useless piece of information. I hope I wish I can add or hope to add I'm gonna add it. it he's driving a nineteen ninety one Alpha Romeo spider. It's red. Anybody know what that is? Okay, thank you. You're all night. Just <laughs> Pe- <laughs> people who do. I I I wish I knew about cars, man. I'm so dumb. It's one of my dream cars. Yeah. I don't know. Like my my dream car would have to be like a like a Rolls Royce Phantom. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Rolls Royce Phantom. What about a uh, 29 Silver Ghost? Boom. That's the. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit i'm so sorry i am so sorry i told you norm i told you man i get excited you could have said boom away from the microphone i'm sorry can dude. you put like an explosion graphic right when he does this shit <laughs> just just the whole podcast is done at that point my apologies no i, I sincerely apologize i'm just excited about this car this is one of my dream cars oh god yeah we could tell from the explosion that occurred sorry 
<laughs> this is my embarrassed face. Oh, oh man, that was Dude, so okay. funny. Ears are bleeding. <laughs> um, but Justin Long to me is like he's like the scream king. Like, like we had Jamie Lee Curtis for a while. We had uh, oh, Drag Me to Hell. Hell. He was uh, yeah, yeah. He was in Drag Me to Hell. He was in Jeepers Creepers. Yeah, he Drag was in, Me to Hell. He was in Tusk. Have not seen Tusk. That's uh, Kevin Smith, right? <sighs> yeah, watch that fucking movie. <laughs> Man, that, I is it, get is a, it list. a serious Man. movie? Is it yeah. like a, oh okay. yeah, 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 okay, like a drama? What it's a, it's a horror. Be? It's a horror movie. Okay, okay, that's what yeah, I mean. Okay. Like, like you know, with with him. But being Kevin in these Smith, he yeah, the, he directed it. it, it that that's kind of like outside of what he normally does. I think. Yeah, I and think so. I I've been wanting to see that too. That in Red State. I think oh, I Red State was see. so fucking good. Yeah, I heard that was Red good. State. Red State. Another. It's 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 loosely based off like if the Westboro Baptist Church. Okay. Like, kind of went off mm. in a way. Um, John Goodman's in it. Fucking fantastic. Oh, man. damn. Uh, but both those movies are very, very serious, very dark, very graphic. Uh, but Tusk. Okay. okay. Tusk was actually made off of an idea of from from his podcast. Whose podcast? Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith okay. is like in eight podcasts. Okay. Um I think he's sometimes a guest on like Tell Him Steve Dave, Fat Man on Batman, uh, Hollywood Babylon, stuff like that. Fat Man on Batman. Yeah. Which, which they re they rename now that he's no longer fat. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I forgot what it's called now. Yeah, anyway, I digress. <clears throat> um, he's also really good friends with Justin Long. Hmm. Kevin Smith. So Tusk is ostensibly about Justin Long's character. I believe he's a podcaster or, or like <clears throat> a writer of some type. And he's going around trying to find like a story or whatever. And he comes across this this guy who's like, you know, I'm, I'm in the end of my life. I just want to find a companion kind of thing. And you know, let's go talk to the sad sack of a human being. And he ends up being taken in, <clears throat> taken in by this old man who slowly is trying to turn him into a human walrus oh okay i like where this is going that's good that's really sick i thought he was trying to turn him into like a mermaid or something so yeah. he can put it in or some shit holy shit like Haley joe osmond there. it's it's the i see dead people kid mm -hmm. yeah harley quinn smith is in it harley quinn smith awesome name yeah that's his daughter is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any uh, more more Hollywood nepotism at play right there? Yeah. And that's Johnny Depp's daughter, Lily Rose Depp. Oh, jeez, yeah. And Johnny Depp is also in it. What? Ralph Garman is the guy with whom he has a podcast, the Hollywood Babylon podcast. Mm -hmm. Um, Harley Morenstein's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, the Genesis Rodriguez, she's she's a hot little thing, and uh, Michael Parks is phenomenal in this movie. You know who Michael Parks is, right? He plays Esteban in Kill Bill. The good, like the Mexican yeah, guy. Yeah, okay. Well, the Spanish guy. Oh. He plays okay. him. He he was, uh, he's in Red State. You got to check out Red State. Yeah, Red we. State. Yeah. I like Red State more than Tusk, but Tusk is like one of those like, like what the fuck did I just watch kind of movie. Well, this is kind of good because I've been, I feel like I've been. Running out of not running out of things to watch, just uh, imagination for new stuff or things that I was interested in watching before. Yeah, yeah, Smodcast. That's what it is. The Smodcast is like his network of his podcasts. Smodcast because like Smith podcast. Got you. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. <clears throat> so another movie that I just watched for the first time since we're moving away from this. Uh, because of that, though, I. It was kind of like in a horror movie feel, I guess. Was uh, it's an older movie, I think, from 2014 called Gerald's Game. Oh yeah, Gerald's Game. It's on Netflix. 2017, uh, excuse me. Carla Gugino. Oh yeah, she gets tied up. Everybody. First off, it's directed by Mike Flanagan, who I think is a phenomenal director, which we're going to talk about a little bit later mm. uh, in regards to the next episode. But Michael Flanagan, yeah, it's based on a novel by Stephen King. Uh, he also directed Doctor Sleep, which I thought was 
Oh, Flanagan, he directed that? Mm-hmm. Damn. He also did The Haunting of Hill House. He did Oculus, which if you haven't seen Oculus, is is probably one of the best written horror movies I've ever, like in terms of how they made the story. Mm-hmm. Have you seen that movie? <sighs> yeah, but I think when it first came out and I I don't even remember it. It's about like a haunted mirror. Right? It has no business being... Oh, Kate Siegel, I think, is gorgeous, by the way. Karen Gillan's in it. <laughs> uh, Katie Sackhoff's in it, yeah. Uh, the whole thing is... It's like four different or three different timelines merging all at once. It's it's crazy. It's... How they wrote this movie it baffles me. Is, is, is it have any like believable chance of being kind of real i don't know because when i watch horror movies it's kind of like what i so gravitate to personally so there there's there there are different types of horror movies right right is there a chance that there's a mirror that's haunted could be who knows at a thrift store you'll find it but but, (laughs) right yeah it's it's true you know from estate sales and stuff like that like somebody passes away in a house who knows but the whole the whole premise is like how it's haunted mm-hmm. is what makes it interesting. Oh, okay. But anyway, Gerald's game. Okay. So the 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 whole premise of Gerald's game is, and th- this isn't really giving anything away. Um, Bruce Greenwood and Carla Gugino are husband and wife, and you know they're in in the later years of their marriage, kind of. And they go out to a cabin in the middle of nowhere to rekindle the flame Mm -hmm. that's, you know, going out, I suppose. Did I just hear somebody? Maybe it was my stomach. I just, I could have sworn I just heard a woman's voice. That's what I, that's what I heard. Is this place haunted? No. Are you sure? I literally just heard something. I did. Bro, I heard it. I heard it too. Did you hear it? Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 I'm not fucking losing right. it, right? Because I was about maybe to. Nicole is maybe sleeping. it's yeah. Maybe, she's maybe but she's sleeping. sleeping. Well, she's on. She's also watching like an iPad too. Oh, so okay. Maybe probably. maybe it was her. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of hoping. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm, it's her. I'm, I'm hoping. <laughs> no, I'm hoping it's haunted. <laughs> oh, I mean, Jesus. Sorry. Bro. No, because you guys get to leave. I, I hope it's not haunted. <laughs> <laughs> fuck this or I'll, hey, I'll leave hey, too fuck hey audience <laughs> I think he's being serious because he's actually turning red right now so no, I think not, he's being not, serious now the lights are going in and out and who knows what's happening no oh, brother that was, that was Norman <laughs> brother um, so they're they're in the latest stages of marriage they go out to the cabin to rekindle their love and he ends up popping a Viagra you know because guys get old and uh, <laughs> he handcuffs her to the bedpost Nice. Right. And he started being overtly aggressive. And she's like, you know, what the fuck are you doing? Like, this is, it's too much. Slow mm. the fuck down. I don't know what you're doing. Relax. No means maybe. Right. So. <laughs> Just kidding, everybody. <laughs> so then uh, what ends up happening is he starts getting mad. Like, like you said you wanted this. You, you want to rekindle the relationship. I'm trying to do something. You say no. What the fuck? What are right. we doing here? Like, what's the whole problem? He gets himself all worked up, has a grabber, dies. This is, now, this is within the first 15, 20 minutes of the movie, so hopefully I'm not spoiling anything. But the the rest of the movie is her trying to figure out a way to get out. And that's when everything happens or something. And then at one point, she looks up and a guy is emerging from the corner. Okay. I didn't know that. Damn. Can we just can we just leave that there? And the whole premise is like What's like, what's going on? Yeah, who is in? Like he opens up like he has like not, not a fanny pack, but he has like a little thing here and it's it's full of like bones and jewelry and stuff. And oh, I thought you were gonna say guts, intestine and uh, appendices. The whole thing is like is that is that death looming around. So I'm gonna leave it there. Check out this fucking movie. Uh, <clears throat> it gets a little okay. There's something. There's something I, I want to bring up. Okay. In the realm of movie writing, there's been a certain trope that I'm getting pretty tired of, mm. which is forced emotion that comes with this person 
th- this woman just got raped. Yeah. And it's it sucks. You know, obviously, it's, it, it's something that happens and it's a horrible thing. I'm tired of them interjecting it into movies over and over and over and over. You know, it's to me, it's an easy it's an easy cop out to say she's a victim. You're going to feel bad for her. If you don't feel bad for your piece of shit, that's it. That's all. I yeah, see. It's, it's the it. end all see, statement yeah. of like how you should like look at this. Right. Character. Yeah. It's, it's almost. Yeah. You're being directed how to feel. Right. Yeah. Which to me, it's like, hey, don't I already feel bad for her with her being fucking tied up? Yeah. That's not enough. Yes. But, but she had to have been molested as a small child, and <sighs> like it's there. We go. Did it? Did, I mean, did they? Did they? Did they see Irreversible? Anybody seen that movie? No. <laughs> but it's yeah, just, I saw some parts of it. And Gaspar yeah. Noe again. Yeah. Second reference. It's just it's too much. Like to me, it it, it works. I hate to say it in small doses. Like you know, every movie can't have. And she was molested, and you know, and, yeah. molested. and it's like, yeah. hey, be a better writer and interject, yeah, another type of emotion trauma. into this, yeah, yeah. trauma. Yeah. I mean, I mean, like, that- like, hey, in, instead of her being molested, how about like one time she got caught in barbed wire climbing over a fence and was stuck outside for six hours, and you know, there was another time where she had to force herself to think, yeah. like, isn't that something like? Or, or she was she was trying to make her way back east, uh, trying to avoid a massive polar vortex blizzard, ended up driving into the heart of the storm, and she had to survive that. Right, and that's pretty symbolic in itself. I did that actually. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> and you're a powerful oh, yeah, woman as well. Cheers, so I'm not cheers. even upset about it. <laughs> cheers, <laughs> cheers. Um, Sometimes I feel that way. So that's. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of those things where I'm like, all right, like, you know, it, it is what it is. No, I mean, you, you bring up a great point. And I think that's that might be a common theme in a, in a lot of movies coming yeah. out these days. Yeah. And is I think that, it's. Yeah. Uh, I, I was just going to say, yeah, it is a cop out. It's like an easy way where you don't have to explain why they were driving through a storm or why they were climbing over a fence. It's just like, oh, OK, or don't don't say anything else. Like, we got it. You know? Yeah. It's just to me, it's. There, there's there's been a lot of and, and I don't want to be that guy, but there's been a lot of like guy bashing in movies lately, which is like the new thing. Um and I'm I'm sure at, at some point it'll subside, but there is there's in almost every movie you see now, it's like, and here's the theme of guys being a piece of shit. And it's like, all right, and like, you know, there's only so many times I could be told I'm a piece of shit before it's like I'm done watching these movies. Well, I mean, and it's not to say there aren't guys that are pieces of shit out there. There's one hundred percent guys. This that is are absolutely true. It's absolutely true. But there isn't there is an audience for it though, right? Well, like guys and girls. Here, here's yeah. the problem: there is an audience, yeah. but are they moviegoers? That's the that's the issue. Guys are the lead movie attendees, not women. Uh, yeah, yeah. Women more often or not more often than not go to movies because they're going with their guy. That's a guy's idea to go out like on a date or to do something. Let's go check out a movie. That's more of a guy's idea than a women's idea, generally speaking. Is it maybe is that maybe like an older kind of thing? It, it might be. It might be just yeah. like, you know, I mean, how many times you're like, oh, I got to take this girl for a date. All right, let's go to dinner and a movie. Because then it's, it's okay. We're, we're going to force ourselves through this awkwardness, this awkward conversation. Then we're going to sit in alone in the dark somewhere. And that's and not have any conversation, and that, <laughs> right? But, I know. But, but but then leave with something to have a conversation right. about. Not only not only that, but it, it brings you close because you know you can nowadays, especially you can move up that thing in the middle, and she can cuddle up close if if everything's working out. I took a girl on a date to to movie and ice cream. Her idea, right? So okay, so okay, that's her, yeah, that's her idea yeah, to that's go. Good, yeah. Let's go. I've said more in this podcast in the first three minutes than I did that entire date. Ugh. One of the worst dates of my life. Ouch. Went with, well, went because it was like a friend of a friend. Got home, texted my friend. I'm like, that was fucking stupid. She doesn't talk. That was some bullshit. She's like, she just sent me a text message saying this was one of the greatest dates she's ever fucking been on. I'm Whoa. like, <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> So whatever. So anyway, so I don't like that. I don't like that whole thing. But was you she know, hot? I, yeah, she was. She was pretty. Um, 
But was she hot? No, I'm kidding. Never mind. I've, I've dated worse. <laughs> <laughs> All that's non-relevant at this juncture. Check but, out, check but, out adulting the pod. We'll we'll talk. We'll cover some more of that when ooh. the time comes. <laughs> oh snap! That's um. Nice. So okay. So even besides all that, yeah, you know, to me that that's that's the. It it seems like their way of saying women are strong is to put down the men. Where it's like, hey, we have plenty of great examples of women being strong without any of that shit. Well, basically, what it comes down to is directing thought and directing the emotion through suggestibility, right? And narrative, right? That's that's really and, all. And, and that's if, what it comes down. If to. if you write a character well enough, yeah, he or she will convey strength yep. through said writing. Sarah Connor. <sighs> Yep. The transition from her from Terminator 1 to Terminator 2. Great. We we get it. She's not the weak wait- waitress anymore, but it happens through the context of the story. Absolutely. And it happened because she evolved because of the traumatic incidents that she went through that we all yep. saw in Terminator. Right. Yeah. And that, that's it. That's she grew. Know. And that's the way real... Actually... It's relative because that's the way real yeah. life is. Right. We've all been, we've all been through it. We've all been through an incident that made us grow. Yeah, it made us evolve, for lack of a better word. Yeah, makes for a great sequel too. Also, yeah, <laughs> and also amazing uh, Ripley. You know, like yeah. oh yeah, like dude, fuck, dude. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. whenever I I hear like Sarah Connor, I always think of Ripley too. Absolutely, I yeah. love I love Alien. Yeah, Alien and the original when the remake. The John Carpenter's The Thing, to me, are like perfect sci-fi '80s horror movies. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I've seen The Thing. I have to watch. A long that. time ago. Yeah, I have to revisit it. Is that Kurt Russell? Yes. No. Okay. All right. Uh, and the last movie that I saw recently is Knives Out sequel to Glass Onion. Yeah, yeah. that was yeah interesting. Yeah, that's, that's with uh, that's with uh, Ed Norton. <laughs> Yep. Yes. Ed Norton. Did you, and, did you guys watch that? I didn't. Did no, you? I didn't. I, I saw the first one, and actually, uh, Kate Hudson's so hot in that movie. Kate Hudson's beautiful. Um, she's gorgeous in everything she does. But it was like one of those like, like she hasn't been in anything pertinent in a long Not time recently. No, but it's just like she just popped up. You're like, God damn, fucking Kate Hudson just. Good genes out of this girl. Oh, I know. Yeah. Well, uh, and I think uh, Kurt dude, Russell, the black actress, Kurt, yeah. Kurt Russell what, what, product, name? Kurt Russell and, product, and, and, and Goldie Hawn, Janelle Monae. Right. I think she's. I I don't know if Kate Hudson. Kate Hudson's not Kurt Russell's daughter. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Wyatt Russell I? is, but not Kate Hudson. Did we just faux pas? Maybe. Fox Pass. Can, yeah, can Fox you, Pass. Can you click on uh, Kate Hudson, please. And uh, well, it looks like yeah. Bill Hudson. It looks like this is uh, oh. thank you. This is this is a uh, check. An, an instance for a uh, integrity check. No, we that, screwed that one up. Uh, bound to happen. But between the three of us, Kate, Kate Hudson That's, is yeah. not. Wait we repeat, is not <laughs> Wait, is not the daughter. <laughs> now have a banner of Kurt Russell. Across the- <laughs> yeah, we need, we're gonna need a banner for that. <laughs> this is uh, this is our first episode of this episode. It's a uh, integrity check. Hey, dude, we should have an up- uh, offshoot uh, episode of just like everything that's wrong <laughs> with all, all our fuck ups. Yeah. Right. Oh, inaccurate, inaccurate. That's I guess that would be that would be a shout out to uh, Cinema Sins. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. I love yeah. cinema. But it'd be it, I, it I, would it would be meta because we're doing it on ourselves. It is. So, it's yeah, very it's, it's very meta. Wrong. Yeah. Wrong. Yeah. Nope. I Sin. Think, I think Jessica yeah. Henwick from Matrix, the yeah. new Matrix. I yeah. think oh, she's actually. Yeah. I think she's super cute. Yeah. I think Janelle Monae has probably the most perfect set of teeth I've ever seen on a human being. I could see. Um. Dave Bautista's in this. Yeah. yeah. There's so many. Yo Hugh yo Grant. ma. What? <laughs> Fucking Yo Yo Ma's in it. Wait, wait, where? It says on the bottom. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't know, you know, like just Yo Yo Ma. <laughs> little sidebar. Uh, I just, you know, I've always grown up like seeing people instead of saying hi or whatever. I'm like Yo, and then that evolved into Yo Yo Ma. So whenever I text everybody, I'm just Yo Yo Kai. Yo, yo, yeah. mom, bro, yeah. yo, yo, bro. 
<laughs> and it, it all just it's yo-yo great. Ma. Yeah, and then, it's great. And I don't even listen to them, but you know what? Yo, that's yo, gonna yo, be ma. on the li- that's gonna be on the list too. So I'm surprised though that he's in a um a movie. I, I didn't guess. like this movie. <sighs> Interesting. I wasn't a big fan of the first one. I li- I, th- I liked the first one. I like uh, the first one was cool. It was just that it was uh I thought it was a little campy. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. It was campy. It's, I mean, it's all the directorial style of uh, Ryan Johnson with with this stuff. It's like, <laughs> look at how like hipster and quirky I am. Like, it feels I know. like that. It does, but I, I like, I like the whole essence of trying to put it together ourselves. You know, you're watching a movie and you're putting the clues together yourself. And that's the problem I have with this. Oh, is, is there's there's no way. Spoiler alert, and I, it's mm. it's not really even going to spoil anything. There's no way you can come to the logical conclusion of what is happening with this movie with what's given to you. I think uh, I think we talked about those. this before yeah. with uh, a mystery movie like if you I think it was a a, a Fincher conversation that we had where it's right. like okay, you can go back and watch the movie and then you can yeah, actually solve it. Yeah, I think we were talking about I think no, I think we were talking about Christopher Nolan, right? Okay, yeah. It, it might yeah. have either one. But either one. That like, ties it It might have been Fight Club. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It was. Because you can watch that movie and you're like, It was Damn. Fincher, yeah. He was by himself the whole time, you know, and you can see him like actually acting it out. Correct. Like a crazy person. Correct. Whereas, yeah, something like this, like Wait, just kind of like. This, they're just going to be like, and hey, here's what's happening. And you're like, what the fuck? Are I you- never had a chance to figure it out myself. It, right. And I'm part of that audience that is entertained by the ability to try to figure it out myself. Right. Exactly, and th- that's the, that's my biggest qualm with this movie. And there's a couple moments where like things just don't fit. Like yeah. moments in the story, you're like, "What's happening right here?" Like I know. Yeah. Well, it, it, it's probably because your logical mind is incapable of putting something together that gave you no details of what is to come. I mean, but honestly, I mean, there's there's going to be an audience for it. What were you going to say, Joe? Um, the uh, the title Glass Onion. Uh, I was reading that that's taken from a Beatles song. Yeah, it's a, and the the song, <laughs> I believe it's from the White Album. And this is something I read because I, okay, I I'm yeah. not you know for one hundred percent, but uh, I believe the term Glass Onion was used in their context as something that's presented that you're giving a lot more meaning to what it really is. So you're you're kind of looking into it, you know. Yeah, like projecting symbolism. Yeah, so with that being said, if you name a movie Glass Onion and then you just throw a hum- whole bunch of bullshit in there, isn't it kind of like self-justified? So like you really, or I don't know if that's a term, I mean, but may- Maybe, but the the problem is it kind of protects it from any criticism because you can always have well, that back door the, of like well it's a glass onion so well, the, stop the, looking so deep into it the, the, I, I see what you're saying and that can be true and and so far as you you take a glass onion if you were to take an onion as it is yeah multi layered and then you make it all glass yeah you're gonna look through these glass layers and it's gonna be you're gonna have a perception of what's in the center very different. Yeah. Very differently. Yep. Until you start peeling away those glass layers. Yeah. But so to, to me, that's a cop out. Yeah. yeah. Cop out yeah. is what I yeah. was trying to get. I mean, hands yeah. down. It yeah. is. Because then hands it turns down. into like, we could do whatever we want because it's a glass onion. Exactly. And then it's like, yes. like, like go and, fuck yourself. Yes. And I, yes. I kind of like, I, yeah. I, I get that impression from yeah. Ryan Johnson. Like, uh, I don't know, man. I liked everything he did up until The Last Jedi. That's Which, one of the worst Star Wars movies I've ever seen in my life. We yeah, we that's got to be like a three parter. Like episode, the te- the temple but. fight scene is the only redeemable part to me in that entire fucking movie. And yeah. even that wasn't that great. Yeah, and it. I, I mean, I think it was still great. I just feel like I it think, was too little, too late at that point. I kind of feel yeah. like well, after watching the entire piece of shit, it was like a saving grace. <laughs> yeah, much, but that's, it really that's, wasn't good. Yeah, and there, uh, there was. I was expecting so much more from that climax right there. Everybody and then was. It, yeah. So, um, yeah, with that being said, like, I I really enjoyed Looper. Um, yeah, I, th- I thought Looper Actually, was cool. like, Looper's a fantastic fucking movie. Yeah. 
Uh, I think it was a great story. And uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt. But right? that's another one, okay? So so he knows if if he wrote Looper, he knows how to write like, hey, what Wait. happens? What happens here is going to affect here. Yeah, you literally wrote a movie about it, and so, then you put this so, thing out, and it's yeah. just like. So what happened? And it's <sighs> what I think happened is, which which is how I feel happens with a lot of sequels, where especially if the original content does well, mm-hmm. the writer, director, whomever it is, almost feels like. Do I have to try as hard for this next one? Like, I know people are going to check this out because the last one was so good. And am I just going to reap the, <sighs> reap the dollar? Am I still going to reap the dollar? I and mean, it's, how, how many sequels have ever surpassed the original? Maybe a handful. Maybe Godfather 2. Yeah. Maybe Terminator 2. Or, okay, but what about if we kept it in the context of like mystery movies, right? So there's a Death on the, Death on the Nile. Right, right, and then what was the other one that that came? Death out? on the mur- Murder on the Orient Express. Okay, and those are basically like uh, sequels, right? All right. right. I haven't seen any of those, but how is a murder mystery sequel supposed to be? Uh, it's like, does it ante up the the game, or is it just like a like a different case to solve? Well, to be honest, it, it's it's not unlike like Ocean's Eleven. Oceans 11, 12, 13 are, are whodunit thief movies, essentially. Right. Right. right? Like, so you have the whole, like, okay. the whole premises. How did these guys pull this off? Yeah. Now, those movies are really fun. Again, right. they pull off shit at the end where you're like, there's no way you would have fucking known that certain things happened. Especially when in, in 12 and 13, I feel like they just. They just swept the rug like, and of course this guy's painted like the fucking wall. And of course this guy knows how to, you know, bypass the lasers by doing It was a good idea dancing. to bring everybody together and right. have another hurrah. And th- and that's kind of what they're doing with this, I feel like. Um, so, like, with Murder, Nor- Murder on the Orient Express and, and the Death on the Nile, yeah, it, 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 it's a sequel in, in the exact same way that this is a sequel. It's it's one character that that carries over. Which is the detective. Right. Okay. Right. Um, and then there's aging Edward Norton. Who plays like an Elon Musk-esque character. Right. And of course, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of statement in right. the premise of the movie because everything has to have multi-layer, like, like, and this means that, and that means this, and this means that, and that means this, and it's just... Instead of just writing something good that stands on its own, I feel like, you know, people are interjecting so much symbolism into everything. Like, like it's only got a 3.3 th- 3. 3 rating is not horrible. Like I said, it, is, it, is, it an, is it an entertaining movie? Yes. Will I ever watch it again? Nah. There is an audience for it, though. I mean, I, I, yeah. I mean, they made two weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> That's man, th- yeah. I have a weekend at Bernie's comment, but I can't say it here. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh man, I already know. <laughs> but uh, and there's four of those. And, uh, uh, so, <laughs> but I, I, I think I, I would, I, I could probably give it a watch. Yeah, I mean, if, if, if I were hanging out, with it's myself. still entertaining. There's still some funny, like, cool parts to it. The first half of it is definitely better, than, much better than the second half. Oh, because. Well, don't even say. I'm about to ask you, does it drag on? But don't answer that. There are moments where it does, but uh. yeah, I I enjoyed the the ensemble of like the first one, yeah. And I think right, this one right, like right. kind of like bring that, you know. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna check this out. Yeah, I mean, it's no, I, I agree but, with that. Yeah, yeah. but my, my wife liked it a lot. So like to me, this is this is a good like date night. Like you know, my girl's gonna love this. Movie. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it for her. So. Circling back to what you were saying about circle how back, I'm just a circler, just <laughs> trying to circle it all together. But um, when we were talking about the uh, um, male dominant going to the movies, so I was thinking that maybe that that doesn't uh, carry over to streaming, and yeah. so now movies that come out 
like specifically to streaming, we can see it that it's kind of geared towards a different audience, right? right? But then now they see that that works in the streaming realm. Let's take that to movies and And see and see how it works. Yeah, and I think that's where we're finding like a lot of movies out, uh, you know, in the theater that testing the waters. Yes, testing the waters. Well, here's the thing uh, of what of what I've read. Streaming movies is still more of a male dominated thing. Oh, okay. Whereas what? streaming TV shows is much <gasps> and binging is much Whoa. more a women oriented thing. Dude, Dang. you're so right. Dude, you, yeah. I, I don't know. No, I it's, mean, it's absolutely true. I mean, like I have my, my wife has rewatched Grey's Anatomy and Gossip Girl and shit. And I'm like, can't you watch something new, something yeah. else? <laughs> like, watch The Sopranos or something. <laughs> No, I there's a friend of mine, uh, a girl, and she's pretty cool. She's like one of my bosses at the other job. She's we re- she's rewatching Sopranos for the fourth time. So, Damn, yeah, yeah, it's and, series. And and yeah. and again, the exceptions aren't always the rule. No, there, there are yeah. plenty of TV shows yep. that I'm re- like like I love The Big Bang Theory, so I'm rewatching some of that because I'm a nerd and I'm a, you know. The la- la- <laughs> Latino Sheldon, as I was called in, in my old job. Bazing essay. Go fuck yourself, Norman. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing too hard at that. Oh, boy. Um, I hate to say it, but like there are times where I watch that movie where I'm like, or that show, and I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> That's something I would say. <laughs> Between correcting people and yeah, and the yeah. nerd trivia and stuff like that, like yeah, that's no. That's I mean, me. but I think I think we all kind of have that yeah. trait. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, here's the thing: it's not to say that the movies that they're making now are bad. They're just not geared for certain people. Fine, yeah. cool, 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 cool. And I get it. There was a time where women were objectifying the movies. Fine. Hopefully, this next era is a nice little middle ground. And we can just get back to good writing, good directing, you know, well made, all that stuff. And it I just, think, and we, and I, you know, just to ev- just to up, you know, even even out the odds, uh, we can objectify guys. But yeah, I don't think by man hating is is the way to objectify guys. Yeah. It's it's the pendulum yep. swinging too far in the opposite direction. It's it's an overcorrection in in lieu of just finding something easier to just true yeah i think i think it's, it's a pretty good topic we could probably expand on that if we get a female guest on here one of these yeah, days oh yeah, absolutely. Yep. um yep to elaborate a little bit from the uh just have, the your, female wife, side. have your wife come downstairs yeah she should bring some input because like yeah, yeah she dude she's kind of be- like on the same boat too because when we saw like we saw don't worry darling and that was like this that was like spoiler alert that oh, was like oh, the yeah. same thing. That that was like a little bit of the same thing. If the the title didn't give it away, then <laughs> I mean, the he, even my wife was just like, "This movie would be so much better if it wasn't just so guys are pieces of shit." Yeah, and she's like, "Just oh, yeah. like to to me, a movie has to be able to stand on its own, right? Like l- let a person who who knows the difference between one and the other watch it and still walk away saying, you know what? That was a good fucking movie. The movies that have stood the test of time to me don't have that kind of thing. Like even like take Shelley Duvall in the shining. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Weak character, very weak character. Yeah. But still stood up to her crazed husband with a baseball bat. Exactly. You know, still was able to save her son. It, there wasn't like a moment where she's like, I'm a woman and I'm a mother bear. Like, shut the fuck up. Like, get get the fuck out of the Overlook Hotel. And that's it. That's all. Like, you don't Survive. need to. Yeah, Survive. you don't Damn, need to. That's a great point. Throw Jesus. this shit in. Ever since, yeah. like, enough, it was not enough, apparently. And it just, <laughs> that overtook everything. <laughs> it's the sequel. Not enough. Not enough. And, and, and again, enough it's more. It's <laughs> still more enough. It's not. It's not to say there aren't good movies. Okay, I don't want to be like turn into like you more know enough that yeah. guy either. Yeah. But it's just to me at the end of the day, there's there are better ways to make a movie. Yeah. Yep. I I, I know. I just uh, I think I think the the audience right now is is probably geared towards this type of writing, but. 
It's it's yeah, it's my, the era that we live in right now. Yeah. But that's not even the case. My question is, I mean, is 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 the tail wagging the dog or is the dog wagging the tail here? Is it because Hollywood is gearing the audience that way, or is it because this is what the audience is responding to? There's a oh, that's well, a the, point. the audience is not responding to it. That's that's the are whole you, issue. You, is that is that true? I so, mean, what so, are what are box office numbers looking so like? So right now, really right now, attention. like like okay, say Thor: Love and Thunder. Okay, right? I'm a huge comic book fan. Right, I, I liked the <clears throat> Jane Foster Thor. Yeah, in the comics, I didn't I didn't mind her. None of that. Gore the God Butcher was awesome in the comics. Mm-hmm. You're, you're blending these two things together. Run it. Let's go. Mm-hmm. I love Thor Ragnarok. I thought Taika Waititi was absolutely the best director for that movie. Yeah. I had a lot of faith in it. <laughs> and then I saw the fucking movie and I'm like, you know what? Hey, cool. This was a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. 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 D- does it have good moments? Yes. Absolutely. It does. Yep. Yeah. The 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 fight scene with the depleted color, I thought was one of the best fucking fight <laughs> scenes I've seen in a long time. Dude, that was pretty badass. That was dope. Yeah. And uh, then even uh even Jane Foster when yeah. she when when she appeared, which is the female Thor. Yeah. Um fuck like man why didn't they have more of that right like now it is a, a pretty swift kick in the dick to chris hemsworth who is working out like a motherfucker in between these movies while nelly portman's muscles end up being cg oh shit man, i didn't know that yeah ouch not completely i think she put on a, a couple lbs but i mean she's she's a yeah. super small framed girl she yeah she's not gonna be able to pack on the pounds like that so anyway i digress <laughs> the problem is okay so so that movie uh uh-huh. had a huge opening huge opening mm-hmm. and had a 68 percent drop off by the next week ouch Ooh. that's the issue with these movies they they do a good job drawing people in but there's no sustainability. Yep. Movies do well by people going back to see them a second time and a third time in the theater. Well, that's that's a that's a management problem, or or, or should I say production or the uh, marketing? Yeah, marketing. Maybe. No, not even marketing because it, it was marketed, obviously. It, oh it, yeah, so but marketing it's a man- did their job. Yeah, marketing did their Market, job. Yeah, they, without they, marketing, they, they got the people. They there. wouldn't they wouldn't have made shit or fun. It's it's the probably it's the substance because that's what like so, look so at look right. at Avatar. You know, that yeah, thing's got how did fucking, that do? It's got legs, dude, like a centipede. Okay, it's like Jesus. it's cr- it's, it's like crawling. That, huh? Yeah, and just like the first one, I because yeah, the yeah. first one, man, the first one was off the chain. Yeah, I actually had a huge argument because di- wasn't it wasn't it uh, running wasn't wasn't it nominated for best picture? Yeah, I yeah. believe so. And I had an argument with somebody saying that it should have had best animated picture, and I was like, well, no. Speaking. Technically, yes, but technically, no, because it was the first of its kind. Yeah. And during that time, I, I mean, I want to say roughly first of its kind, but there were actual actors. That's the beauty of Avatar. Like, it's it's so immersive. Right. That you, you forget that you're watching actors, that you're not watching a Pixar movie, but then there's parts of the movie that it's, it, it feels like a complete animation. Okay. And yeah. Have you guys seen it? I didn't oh, see not the, the second one. one. No. I didn't see the yeah. second one. You saw um, you saw the new one? Yeah. You saw a movie but before I've oh, seen it? Snap. In the theater. What? The, yeah. See, my, my issue is I didn't care. Like, oh, what? don't get me wrong. I liked the first Avatar. But besides the graphics of it, it was not a mind blowing movie to me. No. It, yeah, how was the story? Was was, it, was the story the, in depth? No, the was story. It? The story was the last Mohicans or okay or Pocahontas. It was literally the exact same story. Oh, okay, just you, just you recycled. A, you had a fucking mineral called unobtainium. Why the <laughs> fuck would you name it that? <laughs> that's I, call, like, that's I like, call that everything. <laughs> that's like I'm a stripper. I know called, you I know. ain't gonna touch this shit. Like, what the yeah. fuck do you mean? Like this? <laughs> it to me, it just yeah. Yeah. It um unobtainium. D- yeah, and whoops. There's there's gripe <laughs> there's there's gripes that I have with the second one, but what you don't get is bullshit narrative. Uh, and that's what like that's what I liked about the first one is like even though it's it has the formula or I don't know about the formula, but it has that story that you're familiar with. Right. But um 
they're going all in. I can't believe they're making five of these fucking movies. Wow. Yeah, dude, I love it. I, wow. I love it. Because, you know, the thing about the second one is that I don't think I could ever watch Aquaman ever again. Dude. The water effects in this movie were so good that... Well, I hated Aquaman anyway, but that's, yeah. I don't like Jason I, Momoa. I, I, I couldn't even start. I couldn't even get into it. Apollo. Una Chaplin's in this? She's the great-granddaughter of Charlie Chaplin. What? She was in Game of Thrones. Yeah. <gasps> Dang. Okay. Dude, Cliff Curtis. Yeah, Michelle Rodriguez. That's the other thing, what? Oh, yeah. She, yeah. Know, well, I don't know who the actors are. Yeah. Undeser- think- undeserving. Oh, oh, nice. Snap. <laughs> <laughs> Zing. <laughs> Dude, Kate Winslet? Yeah. You know what? She wasn't in the first one. No. No, I didn't know what? that. What? I haven't looked at the cast. I only knew like the people that uh, carried over, but I, I haven't even looked at... Dude, Giovanni Ribisi? Edie Falco? No. Giovanni Ribisi was in the first one. Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah he's the he, guy who's like, this is on Obtinium. He's yeah. the one. Oh, like, that's right. He's a douchebag rich guy. That's right, dude. He's usually typecasted as a as a douchebag. He he plays a good yeah. douchebag. I don't know. I mean, you ever you ever seen Sneaky Pete on yeah. Amazon? I want to see that. It's a fun show. Yeah, it's problematic, but it's a fun show. Um. Hmm. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. Th- this story, I don't think is like revolutionary and yeah like there's some issues that i have with the movie but it's it's a great movie um hmm. yeah and i'm looking forward to more sequels i i like new franchises it's probably really awesome to watch it at the uh, imax isn't it yeah we did the whole glasses and everything. norm how was it uh, I watched it. oh you did okay. see i can't do 3d yeah why because then i, I hate the glasses on the glasses i'm like yeah oh yeah okay <laughs> What it's when it's when you it's wear like, your contacts. I don't have contacts. Oh shit. Or contacts, glasses, and then the three D <laughs> inception. Do and, and sunglasses. You yeah. know you know what would make these movies interesting to me? Is if you forego the the body possession of like a human being transferring to like this kind of, An avatar. Yeah. You're, if, you're saying. Right. If it was just like, okay. This happened in this corner of Pandora. Cool. Yeah. Done. Moving on. Over on this corner, this has nothing to do with human beings whatsoever. Yeah. How, like, what conflicts are happening on the other end of this planet between this group of natives and this group of natives? Don't bring in, don't bring in earthlings whatsoever. I want to see just how these fucking Pandora. people get on well, on their own. Okay. Yep. So now you're probably going into, like, uh, prequels. Or, or possi- possibly later on sequel right maybe there's another part of the of pandora that doesn't have unobtainium where people are just living i mean this is this is the in, you know in in cinema this is the problem right is that humans came and are now complicating the situation right. which is the overall point yeah. of things right. is that we complicate things right. and we're taken away from the environment. Well, yeah, it's the, resources. the element right. of chaos in Pandora, Correct. which is like, you know, because everything was fine until like the human Quote, showed. unquote, quote, unquote. But yeah. like, like Adam was yeah. saying, how were they before humans got yeah, there? Because and, they had their problems too. Right, they, yeah. had, they had to be warriors for a reason. Exactly. Correct. And, and that's what also Correct. makes this a good sequel is that this expands on everything. The okay. Characters, okay. the world, um, all that stuff. Okay. So yeah, I like. Is this is this James a, Cameron's? Yeah, he's awesome, man. Is this a point that you'd say where the sequel is better than the first one? <sighs> That's a tough one, Norm. That's tough. It's hard to beat that first one only because of the wow factor, the initial shock of this something new. Yes. Okay, but and I, then, I mean, it's like it's cool that they go into the whole water and. They basically in front of your eyes they evolve into water. Right, like, right, right. That's kind of okay. Cool. I got a question. Yeah. Are they fucking their horses and those dragons? Because they 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 use the same the little apparatus, thing, yeah, yeah, to fuck each other. The dick. Right. It's a dick. But then but then they put it into a horse. Like, what kind of weird bestiality shit is in? Is in I thought the same thing. I think they would have. We'd have to define what fucking is on Pandora. And then we you can mean get an answer. Procreation. 
yeah, yeah, reproductive because, yeah so they're not processes repro- yeah so they wouldn't be reproducing but is it but just having fun they would point? be they would be operating like oh there you go yeah. like, you dude know, some of that i think that's abuse tree that would but- <laughs> That would be very abusive. Can That's, you imagine riding a horse on planet Earth and you have to stick your stuck, your, your reproductive your, apparatus, your USB into, inside of your port, and then uh, and what if it was a USB C <laughs> trying to put put it into a lightning a lightning port? Well, oh if my you, God, if, Apple plug. If you want it, you'll make it work. There's dongles for that. Whoa, now, whoa. Now, if 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 there to be like, listen, certain str- you mean condoms? Certain <laughs> strands within the braiding are for reproduction. Certain strands are for connectivity with. Hey, okay. Wildlife? Maybe. Well, all the boys have loincloths. So they're covering something. Oh, yeah, that's kind of true. Okay. All but right. But then what's the why, why have why have this shit if you're not going to use it? Oh, that's probably Is it just for expulsion of waste? No, that's probably <sighs> this guy. The, this Well, you know what? He knows stuff. Yeah. A kid, you know what? <laughs> you you're requiring a whole lot of writing, okay? That's to like, make to make that work. And make it work naturally within the realm of the natural script of the movie and the flow of the movie. You're asking for a lot of writing, brother. But, but that's like that's we like, got like, to get JC on the horn. And <laughs> I'm like, hey, give him a call, bro. So I know you thought this through, but you just didn't say it because it's PG-13. But please, can let you us know. can you can you clarify this, please? And he's like, you sick fuck. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> just watch the if if, movie. If, if, the, if they had enough thought to create a whole language. They oh. thought about the yeah, yeah. the people yeah. and they're, the like, they're, like, they're like, yeah, we have an entire language of even words that we that never even showed up in the thing. Cool. Do they have dicks? Like, is 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 that in the dictionary? Is is penis in there? Because who knows? But it's to me, it's not unlike when they convey like angels in movies, right? Why do they have nipples? Why is there a belly button? Because they were asexual. They weren't female yeah. or, or male. They right, were, but. But they don't need nipples. They're not. They're not. They're, they're not they're, human. They don't need mammary glands for anything. But they're not human. It's the, it's the same promise problem I had with that. I know, and and we we've had this conversation before. For that, instance, the battles in heaven. Right. Don't even get me started. I know. I, I want to write that so fucking badly, dude. It would be awesome, especially if you use a little bit of. If you use a little bit of. Take me, forever. dude. I, I'll, I'll help you with it. Yeah. Dude, it if you if you forever. as a side note, just so you know. Um, it's on the record now. Um, if you need help, call me. Yeah, All psychological right. or with the movie? Uh, Both. I'm not. I'm. I'm not a medical professional or a mental <laughs> the professional. Is this to you? But uh, with with the with the writing of the script, because I'll help you research. Okay. I have. I have for a, shizzle. I have a lot of books, like of yeah. of the dictionary of the angels, where it's literally got them. Including the fallen ones. Damn. <clears throat> uh, anyway, have you guys seen any new movies? <laughs> I, I know, I know, I, that that was my new movie Monday kind of thing, and uh, yeah, it's it's all the new movies, like the new new movies I've seen since the start of the new year. So okay, so so can I uh, new by by new movies? You mean like new to me? Yes, but even though yeah. they haven't just come out, so for some reason, for some reason, audience. I've been I've been on this AI kick recently. Artificial intelligence. Yep. With Harry Arti- Joel Osment again? No, 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 no. Oh. Just in general. In general. Okay. So I I watched that Transcendence with Johnny oh, Depp. Oh, I was oh. thinking of the one with Ryan Reynolds. There's um, a, there was another movie almost exactly the same with Ryan Reynolds. Are you and, serious? And Ben Kingsley. Well, I gotta see that. Oh no, that was oh. uh, Selfless. That was self- Selfless. Selfless. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. And that was another. I I gotta revisit that one. Okay. So Transcendence, uh, I believe it came out in 2014. Yeah, Nolan, Christopher John- Christopher Nolan, or I think Jonathan. Maybe it was Jonathan Nolan. It was one of the Nolans produced no, it. Wasn't Christopher Nolan? I know that. Then it was it, definitely well, Jonathan. Well, not Nolan. directed. Wally Feister directed it. I yeah, but one of the, the Nolans definitely produced it. Or and this wrote? this movie, I think, is absolutely relevant now at present. Absolutely relevant. Okay. Because of the because of the presence of AI in our lives every day. Okay. okay. Um, transcendence is basically the idea of putting a human conscience into a computer. Okay. I, I got you. 
and Listen, it's it's a great i think it's a great concept and i think it's uh it's something derived from science fiction but yeah and i believe that's where well right n- who's to say that Neuralink won't be the you don't know, brother yeah don't don't look now yeah but elon musk has a cameo in transcendence so what? audience take a look at transcendence <laughs> cole hauser yeah yeah cole hauser is in it yeah kate mara I'm I'm hard pressed to think who's better looking, K Mara or her sister. Oh, yeah. Who's her s- Rooney? Rooney Mara. Rooney yeah. Mara's her sister. Yeah. <laughs> I know they have the same last name and everything, but er- come on, everybody's got the same. Yeah, car. you know what? Yeah, I I've made that mistake with uh, Reynolds. I thought Burt Reynolds was Ryan Reynolds' dad. <laughs> <laughs> shame on me <laughs> i think that's because i told you that when you were really young May- <laughs> <laughs> sorry bro <laughs> that was oh, my geez. bad that was my bad <laughs> well that that explains why morgan freeman and Cillian murphy are in this movie because they're attached to anything that christopher nolan yes does for the yes part. Yeah. yes um, wait so kate mara and rooney mara okay hold on i gotta pause for a second because i i love rooney mara can you click on kate mara can you type kate mara kate mara and rooney mara they don't even look the same. They don't. When, it, actually, when you put them side by side, they... Rooney Mara, Kate Mara, side by side. There you go. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, they, man, they... I, go to images, please. <clears throat> Dude, I love Rooney Mara. Yeah, she's she's good. Like, part like, of they're, me, like they're with with like the long hair flowing the same way. Oh my God, we're fired, <laughs> <laughs> dude! Whenever McAfee gets on the line, we're in trouble. God damn! That means yeah, they that don't means, really, they don't really look alike, but that means get out the. Never mind. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's at. We're having fun. McAfee comes out. You go, Kate Mara. Oh yeah. I don't know. Rooney Mara put all those piercings in that were in uh. The dragon, dragon yeah, tattoo. Yeah, the dragon tattoo. Like, she she got all those piercings, the nipple piercings and all that stuff. Oh, she did? Yeah, I'm all for that. That's cool. <laughs> Dude, look at that picture right there. Oh, my God. I could so... I, I, I want to draw that picture right there with them with their profiles. No, oh, that one, House of Cards one? Yeah. Wait, was Rooney Morrow in House of Cards, too? No. No, just, just Kate. Just Kate. <laughs> oh, my God. Just... Mind anyway, blown. okay. Did yeah. you enjoy this I, movie? I, I digress. Um, <laughs> Transcendence was awesome because I think it's completely, <laughs> I think it's completely, completely relevant to what's going on today. And if anybody hasn't seen it yet, I don't, I don't, I don't really want to spoil it. But it's basically what I said: it's uh, putting putting a uh, human consciousness into a computer. And this is this is not a concept that is really like new. I mean, it's been it's it's been talked about in various circles and what have you, but it but it 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 revolves around uh, uh, artificial intelligence because I, I I watched that and then uh, it kind of resonates with a uh, person of interest. I know we're doing movies, but person of interest is a uh, it's a series that went on from about 2011 to about 2016, I believe 2017. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, about uh, an AI, about an artificial intelligence hmm. that's yeah. uh, constantly uh, that's that's what was getting us. getting the right. uh, the work for this guy, right? Yes. Yeah, because we saw Jim, the first two episodes. Jim Cav- yeah. Cavizel, yeah. Oh, Jim Cavizel, yeah. Cavizel, Cavizel. Oh my, Cavizel. I'm, I'm, Cavizel. I'm, I'm getting yeah. this. Passion of the Christ. Yeah. yeah, Passion of the Christ. Yeah. Angel Eyes. Garbage Ooh. movie. That movie was fucking garbage. Oh, I didn't. I, no, I didn't see it. What? What? What's? What about the one with Dennis Quaid that he's in? Quaid. 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 <laughs> Open your mind. <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> Quato. Yeah. Quato. <laughs> because you're looking for like this, like great. Uh, what was he? The uh, the rebel leader. Yeah, he's, he was he's like under he was the like shirt a the whole time. Yeah, he's under his shirt. He's he's on he's under my cottons. He's under my my fatigues. He's great. <laughs> he's under my oh, cottons. <laughs> Have you seen Total Recall, the original? It's so good. Man. Oh There's my so god! So many good. I I, pref- I prefer the original Total Recall. Oh, of course. Yeah, the other one. It's hard. It's a hard 
like business with remakes, man. It There's is. not a lot of remakes that I. The RoboCop remake wasn't as good. Nah. We we just had this yeah. conversation. Yeah, we yeah. just talked about it. Like it it could have been, but it just wasn't. They're gonna remake Blank Man one day. Blank Man. That would be okay. Good. No, they better not. Oh, uh, I mean, <laughs> they'd probably Slap just me put Kevin Hart in it. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen anything new? Um. Wait, I'm sorry. I don't mean to cut you off. Yeah. Is that is that everything? No, yeah. I I, okay. I I'm just on this AI kick, and I've been watching as many movies about uh, artificial intelligence. I watched Ex Machina after this, is <sighs> which is why we started Duh. with me constantly mentioning. Have you seen Ex Machina, Norman? Mm-mm. That's uh, <coughs> dude. See that movie because your mind's gonna be blown by the Vikander. end. By the oh, end, oh, yeah. you're, you're okay. gonna lose your shit. Oh, Alicia gonna... Vikander. Yeah. Oh god. That I really movie watch made that. me feel. <laughs> so 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 yeah. That What's that? What order should I watch? I really want to watch that one too. You can no. watch. You can watch it in either order. Watch Ex you Machina. Probably, probably watch Ex Machina first, and then you can watch this one because this movie came out first in 2014. Ex Machina came out in what 2019, 2018. Yeah, mm, I want to say 2017, 2018, 2017. Okay, and that's a that that was directed by Alex Garland. Mm-hmm. But what else? What was he known for? Because I think that was like his like. Uh, like he, he was. Ooh, a, Sonoya Mizuno, so did he do Arrival, or did he write Arrival? I, I oh, did he? Can you scroll down to the director, please? I, th- I think he had something to do with Arrival. Keep going down. Uh, can you go to uh, the IMDb page, please? Shout out to IMDb for for this. Uh, go to Alex Garland, please. Dom all Gleason. Um, keep going, keep He's going. Definitely keep going. an artist. <laughs> he did Annihilation. Annihilation. Okay. Oh, he wrote it. Oh, okay, so he's a, he's a writer. Have you seen Annihilation? Mad drunk when I saw it, man. I think that movie's uh, underrated as yeah, fuck. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't see it. I got. I have to rewatch it because I remember that out. when it ended. I was like. Whoa, like I should have been paying attention. No shit. Yeah. yeah that's... I'm in, like, sometimes I wonder why I'm on this podcast. There's a lot of movies that I fucking watch <laughs> and I don't know, like, I miss a lot of details. I was and, high when they hit me. Like, and then I'll, I'll get more into that when we talk about movies that I've seen. But yeah, like, th- this movie's good. Uh, She's I, so hot. Yeah. Th- this was, th- this was a badass movie. To, to be that hot and be 99% robotic it's it's her movement her gait and everything that just conveys it is sensuality and it and it almost it almost begs the question what will you do yeah what would you do that's the scary thing there? of the uh, about the movie especially itself. like when you see the movie if any if anybody out there hasn't seen the movie yet and you see it the the, the situations are posed before you yep mm-hmm. okay like it's, norm, it's norm. A, actually, you should see this one first. This okay. is this I'm gonna is go ahead and this is that. probably this this movie is easily creeping into like my top fifty, like by the year. Just yeah, like. yeah, and it's all around good. Like the direction, the the music, right? Like the, the, the actors. Acting. Yeah, like we can we can have a whole conversation about this movie. Yeah, yep. I'm, okay. I'm down, Norman. The day that you watch this movie, let us know. The next episode is going to be the Ex Machina episode. Yeah. And it, I'll have yeah. to. I'll. I'll probably have to rewatch. But yeah, we'll all rewatch I mean, it on. You know, prior to that, I will watch it again tonight. Yeah. I'll probably watch it as well. No lotion. Yeah. In the bed. <laughs> no, I mean I'm not gonna do anything. <laughs> oh, okay. But I, I mean, thought you was gonna. Dry. My my skin gets dry. <laughs> dry. What do you? Why? What were you thinking? What were you well, thinking? No, I put in. The, I, I. Uh, the, the HDMI cord because <laughs> I was like putting it in. I was like. Oh, <laughs> Sure, dry. Wait, <laughs> what are you putting in? Sorry, <laughs> sure, never sure, mind. Sure. I, di- I digress. <laughs> All right, All so th- that's where I'm at with AI. So this, far, so. I mean, to me, this is this is like be, besides it being an independent film, the C- yeah. the CGI in it is almost fucking perfect. It's it's yeah. flawless. Yeah. yeah, it's flawless. It's it's a beautiful movie. Yeah, and the house that this dude fucking lives in, Oscar Isaac. That's like, like, can can I live there? Can, yeah. If, if I te- win, if I win that fucking lottery, that's the house I'm. Living as he in. said, it's a technological library. <laughs> yep. 
I mean, it looks cold and lonely, and I'm all for that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's done intentionally, as you know. Yep. So yep. it's great. <sighs> See that movie. See X Mark. And, and Sonoya Mizuno, who's in it, the the Asian. Oh, my God. But dude. she's so hot. Yeah. We can't. That Damo Gleason, his dad is also an actor. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Is he that? He, he's the. Oh, what the fuck is this? Can name? you click on Damo Gleason, please? Uh, this uh this this Gleason was in uh uh also in uh, Black Mirror and he's done a couple other things Scroll too. Down. Brendan Gleason. There Brendan is. Gleason, that's his father? Mm-hmm. What? Dude, he does he does all the all the McDonough. He does all the McDonough movies. Yeah, he just came out with a new one. That's correct. That, with which, Colin Farrell. Yeah. That's that's on HBO Max. Okay. I gotta see that. Stop, stop, he's, stop. He's mad we'll I talk moody. about it next we'll talk about yeah. it next episode. They're, they're yep. both in they're both in Harry Potter. As well, O M G Harry Potter. He's he's Mad Eye Moody, and then uh, Damo Gleason's one of the Weasleys. I've seen one what? Harry Potter movie. <laughs> I no way. Yeah. I didn't know he was a Weasley. Yeah, That's he, crazy. he's the one that uh, with the scar on his face from like they used to study dragons. Damn, that's that brother, dude. In my Bird. wife's a huge Harry. Oh, Potter so he was the oh, yeah. upper. Uh, yeah, he's the old class. Like, class yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, dude. In Bruges, never in, saw it. Oh my god. Yeah, that. We've been okay. talking about that for a while. Okay. He's even amazing in 28 Days Later. I think he's fantastic. I know. Fantastic. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. All right. Have you seen anything new? Yeah. Um, Avatar. Talked about it. Um, the Menu. How is that? I love Anya Taylor-Joy. I would hmm. easily. I don't know. You guys talked about her in the last episode. Yeah, yeah. I'm stuck between like her and Alicia Vikander. Like, I still... I. I gotta see what you guys are talking about. Her. Have you seen The Witch? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's her. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or Split. It was I think the first time like I, I Oh saw yeah, her Split. I saw, yeah. She was in Split? Yeah, she's the she's the girl that um uh this guy kidnaps. Yeah, she's the Oh yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. She's in that and glass and um Are they eating bone marrow there? On the cover? That's the name of the dish, I think, is like marrow. Bone marrow. Bone, it's bone, bone marrow. marrow something. I've had yeah. that before. It's delicious. Is it? It's exquisite. Yeah. Is this good? <sighs> bone marrow is awesome. Cause, no. Sorry. I, my my, I my, <laughs> my <laughs> wife loves her. If, if you ever yeah. watched The Queen's Gambit, it's a it's a phenomenal little series about a, a girl that plays chess. Um, and she's in it. The menu. So is, is that Ralph Fiennes? Yes. It is? Yeah. Oh. Yep. Um, and that's uh Nick Holt, yeah, yep, he plays Beast in the X Men movies, yeah. Oh, uh, man, I think my expectations were way too high for this movie, wow. and then I saw it, and then it was a little bit of a letdown. Um, I didn't really like the third act, everything leading up to it, as far as the suspense, the, the and the setup for it was really good. Um, I I would say that if I didn't watch it, I would have to watch it. Yeah. So uh, so it's worth seeing. Yeah, because it you're not going to get the same. You might not think the same way that that you know I do. Like I don't know. Some of it was. I don't know. I I don't know. But what I do know is that I probably won't watch it again. <clears throat> yeah. Um, Entertaining. Uh, any any thought provoking? No, not really, man. But I'm not a <laughs> I'm not a food person. So, but oh, so I'm, so I'm not so sure. it's centered around it's a, it's centered around uh, I chefing. Yeah, <laughs> for I, lack of a better word, cooking, cook, cookery, cookery. Yeah, like I, I <laughs> chefery. I wanted to have like a making a, words up, like a discussion with uh, my sister in law because she actually works in the culinary arts like field type of thing, and okay, I wanted yeah. to be like. Are these real dishes? Is this something that like do people really like do this type of stuff? Which I know that they do, right? Like do you have the foodies that are online that like like straight up go to restaurants and then like they, totally. they critique stuff. Totally. And this is like a higher pedigree of those people. So they're invited to this one spot and Well, there's there's actually plenty of movies about about that. I mean, there's obviously there's Spanglish, 
right? Oh, With okay, Adam yeah. Sandler. I think yeah. Spanglish is an underrated movie. And then there's there's the other movie. There's a newer one with uh, Matthew McConaughey, where he's like, uh, he he fucks something up in a restaurant, and then he kind of banishes himself to another country. Is that Bra- is that Matthew McConaughey or Bradley Cooper? There was a you know what? It might, it might be. I'm sorry. It's Bradley Cooper. Okay. My apologies. Okay. I always confuse. Sorry to correct again. Yeah. No, it is. No, that's true. It's Bradley Cooper. Man, what movie was that? I forget can, the name of it. Can you look up Bradley Cooper Chef movie, please? All right. Thankfully, well, we got so Google yeah, like, yeah. It, this is like a, uh, I guess a fusion genre. Burnt. Right. I'm sorry, burnt. Yeah, burnt. Burnt. Damn. You're right. Yeah, I totally jacked that. I never saw it, but I just. So, but that's that, this is supposed to be a good movie, and I've I've passed it up a few times, and uh, I wanted to wanted to give it a look. I just I'm not into the chef genre. Yeah, and that's that might be why I I didn't really think so much about this movie is because I'm not really no totally things. totally. I was brought in by the cast, right? Mostly. So there's there's one movie, kind of about food, um, that you guys should watch. It is it is a really well made movie, acted amazingly well, written directed by John Favreau called Chef. Huh. Great fucking movie. Oh Jesus! Star, great great fucking star movie. studded. The whole movie's ostensibly about John Favreau is this. Michelin star chef who kind of loses it. Like it, like this is it's 2014. So like he doesn't know what Twitter is. Like his kids trying to like, hey, somebody, you know, like he uh his kid introduces him to, to Twitter after he gets a bad review. Right. At his restaurant and he fucking goes ape shit Damn. on this on this critic. Is it a, is it a drama? No, it's it's a comp. Well, it's it's is it a rom com? No, 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 no. Okay. But Sofia Vergara is great in it. Scarlett Johansson's great in it. Right. Everybody in this movie's good. Okay. Dustin Hoffman is an asshole, but he's he's Jesus. playing an asshole. He, so he, yeah. He does, he does a really, really good job. Robert Dude. Downey Jr. is good in it. Bobby Cannavale. Hey, another musician, uh, Gary Clark Jr. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's good. It's it's a it's a fun movie. More Dude, than it. Russell Peters. What? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is a star that cast. Roy, Roy, Roy Choi, who's uh, yeah, yeah, who is a chef. Um, but some of the meals that he makes, the the food that he picks up, the things that he does in this movie are stuff that like real chefs do. And his whole thing is, he ends up being like, "Why don't I just get a fucking food truck?" Right. And they're they're making Cubano sandwiches. That's badass. And it like Dude, you know, do you do you know how difficult it is to run a food truck? I don't oh, yeah. know because it's, I've never ran a food truck, but I know a little bit about the licensing. Your truck has to be so fucking clean. It's yeah. gotta be immaculate. You, you gotta check this movie out. I think I think this movie's absolutely fantastic. No shit. Yeah. Okay. Dang. Yeah. And the food is like if you're not hungry by the time this movie's done, <laughs> then you aren't paying attention. Yeah, it, it's the opposite with the menu. Like every dish I was like did they have blood sausage anywhere in that uh on that menu no have you ever had puerto rican blood sausage no. i have yes that's good european I... blood sausage no huh but i love puerto rican blood sausage you, you eat more, do you eat morcia Hell. yes you said no? Hell no i've 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 had both i've had uh blood sausage uh the british way <laughs> i've had the morcia um, I'm not a fan, and I think I think it's a mental thing. Just and, that, uh, and that's that's a that's a hard bridge for some people. It, it prevents me from uh, enjoying the flavor and enjoying everything. And that's to it. me, it's like, what does it mean? It doesn't fucking matter. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. 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 Unless, unless you tell me like, hey, it's made of bull testicles, then it's like, all right, now I'm crossing a weird line. Like that's that's see, that's I haven't I haven't checked that box off. Yeah. But that's like. Uh, I'm like, com- how did you cook them though? Like, are they? Do you fry those? them up? Yeah. And do they t- do they taste like Italian sausage? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, Louis C.K. has this whole segment about like one time he was walking through a market and he saw a basket full of duck vaginas. And what? He's, he's like, all right, like, have we commandeered enough of this fucking 
animal at this point and now we're just <laughs> selling their vaginas like the, <laughs> like the ducks are like dude we get it you won the war like you know you need a fucking <laughs> 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 now we <coughs> we can, we have to we have to take we have to take hold of the last stronghold right the vagina the very last <laughs> and fry it it's so fun and fry it oh my god <laughs> all right whoops I'm, just not over. Yeah. I'm sorry so so the next episode i know we want to I, I want to bring it up with you too. Yep. Just so that we can all get started. Um, the focal point is going to be on directors. Very nice. So, are we talking our favorite directors or are we just going to go over? Are we going to pick like our favorite directors and our favorite movies that they've themselves have directed or. Whatever, whatever you guys want to do, okay? Because me, what I want to do is I want to go in the style and how it relates to me. I want to do. I want to talk about the movies and how how I relate to it personally. All right. right. I mean, just just because the 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 type of cinema this is really good. The type of cinema that I gravitate to. Yeah. Um. Th- this is just me, it's because I'm I'm difficult and I'm complicated. So I tend to I tend to gravitate to a lot of movies with detail. Yeah, like I I tend to gravitate to the Finchers, hint hint, um, that that we know have, what he's talking about next week. That well, ha- not next week, but whenever we record. You you might have you might have an idea, but uh, I guarantee you. I, I think some, I, I some think things going on. All great directors have good attention to detail, but there's a specific one. There's that, ones yeah. that I resonate with. Yeah. And that's what I want to talk about. Man, I, the the problem is like, how do I focus on one? Like, there's pick multiples, do it. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, multiples. I think I'm just going with one because, like, when you said directors, I was like, yeah, you dude. Know, I mean, if you, you, you want to go with one, I mean, by yeah. all means. But you I, know what? We can throw in others. This is fun. All right. This so, is this is up to your your artistic and thought process. Yeah. We might have a guest. On that show. Okay, cool. And just FYI. Yep. He's he's been apprised of the topic as well. Outstanding. He's already thinking about it. <laughs> Outstanding. Because he's a psychopath like the rest of us. Nice. Um, Outstanding. So we'll uh we'll get to that with you guys as soon as we possibly can. But um Yep. Yeah. You got anything else you want to talk about this evening? No, that's that's it. Um No. No, we're good. We're good. I just want to say that uh, artificial intelligence is great as long as a uh, human is managing it. That's all I want to say. Right. There's got to be a fucking unplug on that fucking Kill thing somewhere. Yeah. That shit. I mean, they all have an off switch, but let's let's have it managed by a human. I mean, automated artificial intelligence is great for learning. I mean, for the for the sentient auto AI to learn. Yeah. But there needs to be a human intervention in there. Absolutely. Norman, you got anything to add? Uh, let me look up this movie real quick since you're talking about AI. I just recently saw one. Oh. Oh. I want you to watch it because it kind of caught me off guard. Don't tell me what to do. This <laughs> guy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's that was got, a, that was a good dodge. He's got a holy shit. unlimited amount of water bottles. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Dude, you. He almost got you by like. Two centimeters. I saw that. All, all it takes is two centimeters. That's not what she said. Wow, you watch some <laughs> awesome movies. Let me tell you. Shit. Speed cubers, riveting. Oh <laughs> <laughs> they have their own profile and they still watch everything on my. That's awesome. <laughs> oh Speed yes, cubes. Dave. If my fucking kids Speed tell cubes. me to watch Yes Day one more time, I'm like, no, I'm not watching that dumb shit. <laughs> like it's gonna be a lot of no days, okay? <laughs> Speed cubes. Yes, days. <laughs> Speed cubes. <laughs> that sounds like a drug. I'm interested. <laughs> it's just a sugar cube, oh, but it's a placebo. Oh, okay. No, no. Uh, now we're, we're, hey, not, we're not you know what? going anywhere. How many lumps? Dude. <laughs> and I'm not talking about it in the ass either. But as many as... It, I don't give a shit. If it gets me high, I'm good. Yeah, I heard if you want to mind fuck me into getting high, I'm good. I heard House of, Gu- of Gucci was fucking garbage too. Um, I didn't even uh, give it a look. Is it under her profile? No, this is mine. 
Is that J Lo? Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. In yeah. a shotgun way. A- Who's in it? Mexican actor. Uh, Gael Garcia Bernal. And the Watchmen. No, no, that was a that was a cop. That's movie. a cop movie. No, no, no. I'm saying the actor. Oh, the guy. Oh, oh you're oh, talking Michael about Pena. Michael, Michael Pena. Pena. Yeah. yeah. He was from Chicago. He's went from to Harvard. Chicago. Went yeah. to Harvard. He went to Harvard. Yep. His uh, his brother works with us. Extinction. Apparently. Oh, Extinction! I saw that, dude. That was a great movie. Did I see this? Dude, that caught me off guard. I hated the ending. I know. I know, bro. Caught me off guard. Like, dude, but hey, how about how about the journey, man? The yeah, the, the like it, going it through the movie. It was, gr- dude. What a great movie! I might check this out. Fuck, man. Dude, see it. You might not like it at the end. By oh, the I end, but. It. I hate it. Probably. Well, then, then I don't want to fucking watch it. It's as simple as that. Well, like, no, but but I'm telling you, the trip. The trip is good, dude. Yes. I'm not gonna watch it again, but watch it one. You don't give what? it one time. Because that should be a. Well like scroll down. Part two. Oh, that's cool. It could be. Twenty One Bridges is pretty good. Battle Los Angeles is. a Decent movie. I saw that. Saw that. Scroll down. The gentleman. Have you seen the gentleman? Who hasn't? Oh, looks so good. That's what. Yep. I'm, that's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to figure out. That piece out. of shit hasn't. Okay. That Norm doesn't come. He's come on. <laughs> oh, you keep getting these. Oh, that's from. that's me. That's me. Here, I'll take that. <laughs> Thanks. He's just producing them. The Gray Man. Have you seen the Gray Man? No, I but you did. That. You did say that, and I've been meaning to watch that. No, I haven't seen it. Check that shit out. That shit, been, that's I've a fun me- fucking movie. Norman, watch that shit too. Mister we- Right, Anna Kendrick. I love you, Anna Kendrick. Oh my god. Yeah, this I one. love you, Anna Kendrick. So Look at she looks so cute there. Oh my. What god. a fucking silence. Nineteen nineteen eleven. I like that. And she's so happy. I know she's so happy. Imagine that's the last thing you saw before you got one. Now. That's that's the way I want to go. Right. Hashtag worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, thank you guys very much for joining us. Uh, we'll try and get back to you guys really soon. Make sure to check out all the other great shows on the OTN network. Um, hit up Private Stock. Uh, what's the name of the, the the show that you just put up? Uh, it's Put the Ball Down Podcast. Put the Ball Down, put the ball down Podcast. Put the Ball Down. Uh, hooking wanna, Up. Make sure you check that out. I want to Hooking Up. Adulting the Pod. Make sure you check out that podcast. And thank you guys very much for joining us for another cool flower movies. Yep. Thanks Cheers, everybody. Yep. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year. And the last water bottle. <laughs>